Welcome back, friends. I'm Juliet, and today is Wednesday, and we are in the third week of our self-love journeys with the yoga practice. So please let me know how you did with yesterday quote. If you, what do you think? So comment below. Let me know how you feel. And today's quote I prepare for you is about unconditional love. So love yourself, guys, unconditionally, just like you love those closest to you despite on their imperfections and faults. So let's think about that. Sometimes we are much more harsh on ourselves than toward others. So love yourself unconditionally, just like you love those closest to you despite on their faults or imperfections. So with that quote in mind, with that nurturing, loving attitude, let's begin our practice today. And today I want to begin, guys, on our belly. So we're gonna be working on our back today. So let's begin just in a simple position on our belly. Put your forehead right on top on your palms and just simply team, close your eyes and just look inside. So let's spend uh, just a few breaths to prepare for our practice today. If you just woke up or you woke up a few hours ago, maybe that is your lunch break and you do a little power a reminder for yourself let's leave everything behind and just live and now here and now because life is happening right now so let's go ahead and just wake up our body today just by lifting our arms a few times up and open from the center inhalation exhalation just a couple more times full of your own breath freedom and then rest bring your hands back and let's do the same with our legs raise the legs up and open lift guys from the center of your body just a couple more in through the nose out through that nose and one more time very good and let's take our arms on the floor and we will begin our next flow little scorpion touches it's very good for our lower back so if you can touch the floor don't worry about it guys just do the best what you can and while we're doing that let's talk about unconditional self-love again i can share you with you what's happening in my life i'm constantly much more harsher on myself and judgmental than towards others if somebody can do something really simple, I would just always say, oh, keep going, you're doing great, right? But on ourselves, we always say, oh, I could do better. Why didn't I practice more? Why didn't I do that? Why I didn't do that? And all of those regrets and judgments. But maybe we just have to love ourselves unconditionally a little bit more. It doesn't mean not to get better and improve our behaviors and, and personality and strengths. It just means to be less judgmental and more accepting let's take our shoulders up back and down give you yourself a few shoulder rolls very nice and let's go ahead guys and take our one elbow underneath the shoulders and draw your other hand towards the same ankle so crisscross reach up and open and if you can't lift your knee off the ground don't worry about it be very nurturing to your spine guys so lengthening the spine we always focusing on the expansion in the extension couple more breaths in through the nose out through that nose and let's slowly let it go and just rest guys take a breath or two and then let's set our other elbow underneath the shoulder take the other arm and grab the opposite ankle and again if you can't lift that knee off the ground not to worry just keep on trying find yourself maybe just lifting the heart focus on the spinal extension and let's look inside again and find that self-love it's so important once we start to love ourselves everything falls into place keep on breathing let's take it back exhalation rest recover restore very good good job guys Let's go ahead and practice today the basic Shalabhasana. At the end, we will repose it all with the downward facing dog, but for right now, we are in a prone position. Both hands are flat, guys, and just begin with the reaching up your upper body, shoulders away from the 
You pay from the ears, keep on breathing, keep lifting the heart, expanding, collarbones are wide. Breathe in, breathe out, press your hands nicely into that floor. And if you're ready, we can take the feet off the ground as well. If not, just hold your hands and hold your feet grounded. Keep on breathing, my friends. In through the nose, out through the nose. Wonderful job. In a couple more. Let's rest and recover. Take a few breaths, guys. Look inside. Find that connection with yourself again. Everything you need is already inside us. So let's go ahead and roll to the side, guys. So from here, we're going to grab the top leg and open up just like we did in the supine position, but we need to work in a little bit more core strings here in order to stay on the side. The elbow underneath the shoulder. Keep on breathing, guys. Very nice. In through the nose, out through the nose, slowly, gently. Bring that leg up. Continue to support yourself and pull that leg up. You're gonna feel it in the hamstring, in the Achilles. You don't have to pull it as high. You can use the strap or towel or just grab it a little bit lower. Beautiful. All right, guys, go ahead and place that foot, which is what above, right up front and straight through the side. Give it good quality, open straight. Mm -hmm. And team, just turn around to the other side. We're gonna do the same straight and I will just switch the position on the mat so we can see each other better. So let's lay down on the other side. Catch up on your ankle, open up. Spine is long, elbow is underneath the shoulder and supportive, very supportive. Keep on breathing, reach with the nose in, through the nose out, couple more breaths, and let's slowly make a transfer to the extended leg. Be spacious, don't sink into that shoulder. If you need to put the bottom leg a little bit closer to the front for more stability, please do it. You can also use a strap or towel. You can hold it like a little bit lower through the nose in, through the nose out. Great work, guys. And let's step across up here. Mm -hmm. And straight all the way through the sideline. Very nice. Keep on breathing. Mm -hmm. Very good. Let's slowly make ourselves make the way on the downward facing dog to repose all of those back a little back bends on the prone position so extend your spine it's the best repose for the back bends is your downward facing dog press your hands really really nicely relax your neck and just draw your one hand towards the opposite ankle look underneath lengthen into the spine Think about that unconditional love. It doesn't matter how you do today, what good or a little bit challenging practice for yourself. It doesn't matter what you achieved or not. Again, unconditional self-love. It doesn't mean not to want to be improved or get better, stronger, more flexible, smarter, better individuals. It just simply means not to be harsh on yourself too much. Let's do a power flow to wake up this body, hands, shoulders, wrists, and touch that ankle just like you did, or the knee if you can do ankle back to the plank, guys. Reach and touch, and back to the plank, and reach and touch, and back to the plank, and reach and touch, back to the plank. He's super strong, do the best what you can, simply, guys. One more time on each side, reach and touch, and here, the last one, excellent, work straight it very nicely, take your knees on the floor, reach up and open, take your hands on top of the heels or on your back, guys, if you have to do your back, hips up and forward, heart up and forward, keep on breathing, close your eyes, look inside, 
Mm. Very good. In and slowly return yourself back. Sit your hips back on your ankles. Wrap your upper body with your shoulders. Mm. And slowly return. Come on back, guys, to the center. Sit, crisscross cross your feet or just on your ankles, just like do I do right now. Let's reach up, take a big press, and remember this quote one more time unconditional love, guys. So, love yourself unconditionally, no matter what, just like you love those who are close to you. Disregard this doesn't matter what thoughts and imperfections they do have just unconditionally so let me know how did you do with the yesterday quote please comment below i wish you a wonderful day and i will guys see you tomorrow for our self-love yoga practice namaste